Hey guys, um, we are here in Cyprus with the national team. Laura is here as well, obviously my favorite roommate. Um, I'm actually gonna do a little video about game day hairstyles today. Um, I'm not that good in doing hairstyles myself, as you can see right now. This is like the messy bun, messy bun 101. Um, so I'm gonna do all the hairstyles on Laura. So she's gonna be my hairstyle model right here. Wish me luck! <laughs> Wish her luck so that she won't end up bold. I'll try my best to keep her hair where they are right now. Um, so yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna show you three different hairstyles um, we would usually wear on game days. And I'm starting with number one, that's actually Laura's hairstyle. She usually always has it on game days. Um, you probably have seen them. It's the two braids, um, French braids. So yeah, let's get this started. So, <laughs> first I need to um, separate the hair right in the middle so that I have basically two same pieces. Have you cleaned the room, Sarah? You're so messy. <laughs> Can you see that I've cleaned the room? This is my side. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> of course. Okay, once I've separated the hair, I'm actually putting one side together with a hair tie, any type of hair tie, it doesn't matter. And that's it! <laughs> Hairstyle number one! I like it! <laughs> Wait, I have to check it! Yeah. Headball! Perfect! Perfect. And then the opponent is gonna think, oh, that's a different player. Yeah, I have to... <laughs> that's true! <laughs> I have to mark her, but then whoosh! I have to mark her, it's that girl. So yeah, okay, let's go back to the actual hairstyle. Um, it's separated in two pieces, right in the middle, kind of, right in the middle. Laura's hair is really tough to handle, to be fair. And now I'm gonna start braiding this side. So you start in the front and just take a little bit of hair and separate it in three pieces, like when you actually do a normal braid. And then you just start braiding and ta-da, once I put this in, you take a little bit of the extra hair and add it to the piece you just put over. And again, I put the outside in. And I take a little bit of hair from the outside and add it to my piece. I promise you it's gonna look good at the end, even though it's a little bit messy right now. They also call me braid master. No one calls me that, but... <laughs> so ignore our messy room. That's all Laura's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so... Funny. Funny, funny. I actually finished this side, so I kept going up until the end, and then I used a little hair tie. Yep, so now we have one side done one side done so i just need to do the same thing on the other side that's the two braids Ta -da. Pudum, pudum, pudum. doesn't she look great this hairstyle is um, easier when your hair is not freshly washed and totally clean so don't wash it right beforehand because it's going to be really hard to braid it and also, you use oh God, a ton of hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> we actually gonna separate the hair again in the middle, like we did for the first one. Now, I'm taking the whole hair on this side. Putting it up here. Can you see that? Yeah. And I'm making the most famous and most common used bun. <laughs> ha! <laughs> it's like ice cream. Other side. Same. Already love this hair. <laughs> Mm -hmm. you can, 
like when you don't like the buns, you just like pull a little bit. I like the buns. And it has to be a little bit messy and... Game day is the number two! Ooh. Two buns on her head. Two buns for... And it's like, like I said, you can even wear it when you like go on a, to a party <laughs> or on a date. Perfect. Oh yeah. And here the bobby pins just to keep like the, the hair back here up. And up here it's messy, but again, just... <laughs> and Perfect. <laughs> it stays up there. Wow. And she still it's looks amazing. <laughs> So the third hairstyle is actually what I usually wear on game days. Um, you need to open up your hair. Sorry. You basically just use the middle part. So you try to separate it so that you have the middle portion of your hair, like this. And it's easier if you put the other hair you're not using away. And even use a little hair tie. Um, same technique applies like with game day hairstyle number one. We start here in front. You separate the big piece into three little pieces equally if possible. And then you start braiding like a normal braid. Now same thing, you always add from the outside to the inside. And you go over again. Yeah, you just do this until you get to a point um, where you would actually start wearing your ponytail. Because at the end of it, you add this whole thing into your ponytail. That's what I usually do. It's a French braid up here and I just put a little hair tie at the end and now I'm gonna put this whole, the, the rest of the hair including this one into a ponytail. So need a bigger hair tie? I usually use two hair ties just to keep the ponytail up. Sorry hair. If I... Sorry hair. <laughs> Sorry, Laura. And once again, the hair that's out here, since it's too short, back there, mm. I use a bobby pin to put it up. And this is usually my game day hairstyle with the French braid into the ponytail. You can see it here. Actually, it looks all right. I'm impressed. Fix the hair back there and ta-da now and once again a lot of hairspray <laughs> so yeah um, those were our three game day hairstyles um, let me know which one was your favorite let me know if you've tried one of them before and which one you like a lot and which one you want us to try next um, if you have any tips for us anything we can do different let us know and don't forget to comment the video, like the video and subscribe to our channel. And yeah, we love you all. Keep being awesome and I'll see you soon. Bye!